Mega Sim, how are we doing? Hopefully, we are doing well. Uh, I didn't choose that one, I chose that one. There we go, that is a lot better. Hopefully, my mic audio is better this time. I have made slight adjustments onto it, so hopefully, it shouldn't be too aggressive. I did do some tests, so I really hope it, it does it right this time. So we're at Markinch Station, we are heading to Edinburgh Waverley on the Fife Circle line. So as we know this is something that um, is being released tomorrow, the embargo has been lifted and um, so we are able to showcase this route. Um, I am using uh, the PC version instead of the Xbox because there are different um, editions out there at the moment that is being fixed so I want to make sure that I'm using the right one so that's why I'm on the PC today whereas last week I was on uh, Xbox because I wanted to showcase it on Xbox but this week yeah just because of the editions I didn't know if the Xbox version was the right one hence I'm on PC today so we've done this route a couple of times now in real life. Uh, we're going from Markinch to uh, Edinburgh Waverley. So where are we calling? We're calling at Kakodi, Kinghorn, Burnt Island, not Burnt Island, as I stupidly thought it was, Aberdour, Dalgetty Bay, Inverkeithing, Edinburgh Gateway, South Gyle, Haymarket, and finally, Edinburgh Waverley. So this is the edition that's uh, going to be coming out on release. As we know, last week uh, there were some issues um, around the preview stream of things that are missing and things that need to be fixed. Now, I am going to be as honest as I possibly can in this video. If there are things that I don't like or things that I feel aren't right, um, I will let you know. to actually uh, switch the lights on as well. There we go. Anyway, so we are heading to Kakodi. Anyway, so this beta we've had for a couple of weeks on Xbox um, you know things have been alright the, the, what the beta testers try and do is they try and look at life like and see what sort of differences there are with this um, and that's kind of what we did you know I even went you know, this is this and that's that and going to Glen Roth there's um, you know you need to do this and yeah loads of different um, options and opinions and things like that you know but anyway I don't want to be too negative because that's not what my video is about today my video is to showcase the route for you to decide whether you like the route whether you're getting the route maybe you're gonna wait until the updates happen I don't know that is for you to decide there are a few things that I was a bit, oh no, it needs this, oh come on, we need that. But at the same time, you know, this release is right at the end of the financial year. And, you know, as with any other business, I think, you know, it was something where things do need to be fixed, but at the same time, they don't want to delay too much because that would cause a lot of issues and you know monetary side of things I'm guessing you know I'm self-employed I you know have to deal with stuff like that as well and maybe it's something similar I don't know that's that's something for Dovetail and for Rivet to to uh, figure out or anything like that but I'm just thinking of you know my own personal circumstances 
um, on that. But yeah, it, so this is the five circle. Um, as you know, we start at Edinburgh Waverley, we then head up over the fourth bridge. Inverkeithin is where you either go uh, east or west. East to go to Kakodi, west goes to Dunfermline City, uh, to Glenrothes, whereas the east goes to Kakodi, etc., and Burt Island towards Mark Inch. So this route only goes to Mark Inch. Um, that is where Glenrothes is. As you can see, there's Glenrothes with Thornton. Um, so yeah, we've got the 170, so Rivet have recreated the 170 here. Um, fun fact, <laughs> they had a few issues with the, uh, what should we call it, with this, with the corridors. And uh, I was actually up in Scotland at the time, uh, early this year, and I had nothing to measure it with. So what I did is I took a video of my feet and I measured with my feet the length of the corridor <laughs> and said my feet size is this, this is my shoe size. You work that out, that's how long the corridor should be in between each carriage, which they loved. It was it was a good laugh. Um, but, you know, I was on the 170, so I was taking photos, I was taking videos, I was kind of like um, trying to compare it in that way before it fully came out. And I will say that's something that I'm going to do with the 158 that uh, Skyhook Games are bringing out again. That is a paid for edition that's coming out, but it's not just the outside that's being done, it's all the inside, the newer, you know, different cab, the new, the newer seats, um, different livery on the seats, the stickers, the lighting, you know, all of that stuff needs to be taken into consideration. It's not just a simple slap on a new livery on the outside and it's done. Um, because of the different setup between those 158s, um, but that is something where I also helped with. I did a couple of videos of the inside, which actually gave Skyhook a better idea on the train itself. Um, inside, a lot more work needed to be done than they thought. Um, but I was taking photos of the stickers, of the USB charging, so all of that side of things, you know, I've been helping out with. Um, something like, um, you know, when we with last week with um, the Suffragette line, the overground goblin line. You know, I took some videos and photos of that, so I was expecting maps inside and, you know, certain things, and it's not always gonna be on the route. In the same way as nowadays, the um, outside doors have got stickers on them now for Scott Rail, where the bikes go in and where, um, what do you call it? Where the wheelchair accessibility is, you know, and things like that. We need to slow down. Which is not being uh, modelled, as you can see. But they're just the silver doors, whereas you know, when it's a bike, bike door, it'll be green around it. When it's the wheelchair door, it's blue. Which looks cool on the uh, intercities as well on the HSTs, and that is a question that people will ask: Why isn't there any Scott Rail HSTs? That's not as simple as that. Yes, it's the same HST; it's the MTU from GWE, from Great Western Express, but it's the licensing to get on the train as well. And I'm going to say the Scott Rail HSTs are going. Would Scott Rail give the permission to add them to the route? Possibly not. But you guys, all of you guys, can create the intercity livery, the Scott Rail livery, to have a go on this. And uh, I even did a video a couple of weeks ago on Train Real World of the HST when I was on going to Mark Inch and going to Glenrothes. And uh, there was a HST that was doing the loop. We'll soon arrive at. Kirkcaldy. I think we need to slow Don't down, mate. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Yes, I've been to Kirkcaldy many times. I say many times, two, three times now. Um, and you'll see uh, the video or this Friday um, where we went on LNER first class. So yeah, that's uh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Now, 
the one thing I don't get about this station is um, the accessibility via the stairs to get from one platform to the other. It's not possible. Now, let me try, because when I was doing the beat test, I couldn't do it. Let's see if I can do it this time. I might be able to now. Right, so there's the lift. There we go. They fixed it now. Because what you're able to do is you are able to go up there or you are able to go up here onto the station. I think it's here. Anyway, they have fixed it with that on the beta. You weren't able to walk up there. But what's really cool, <coughs> excuse me, is this is a working lift. Which I have been in. The planters have been filled and funny enough there is a planter there but this front train bit is the loco bit is missing in real life uh, but i've sat in here um, especially on those benches man that november one so the one that you're going to see uh, this friday i was sitting here for a bit it was freezing <coughs> but it was absolutely freezing and there's the toilet because i used that a few times um but now they've um oh okay can i go in no so they've actually closed those doors because they were hot open, they wouldn't close properly. And it's this one with the electric, the automatic doors that you would open to get in. Um, and there will be stairs here going down. Uh, stairs? No, there aren't stairs there. I'm trying to remember where the stairs are. No. But down there's the ticket office and things like that. Um, it would be nice to have had the LNER zones on here, but again, um, you can't because you know there's no LNR on here. They've got the Scott Rail licensing, um, and also it would be uh, 800s, not 801s, that we would see on this route because look, there's no power to graph. Let's close that. Open the door whilst we're waiting for 45 more seconds. This is, should be running through, telling you all the stations. So it is feedback that we have made. I have made saying nope passenger information screen is not right um, but I have sat in these seats which is really cool um, oh yeah we should uh, start going in a sec so let me just uh, come back in here shut those doors Let's get going. Right, Kinghorn is the next stop. I thought I wasn't going to have enough time for this video because, um, as I said, we got the PC version Friday, uh, but because of the preview on the Thursday, they kind of put a halt to recording, saying, you know, it needs to be a new enough version with all the announcements and things like that. So they said we weren't allowed to record till like Monday latest. Now Monday, I'm in Brighton. So I haven't done anything. And then Sunday it was like, yeah, you can now. Or yeah, Saturday. And I only realised. So I am doing a little bit of recording this evening. Um, ready for that. And then yeah, we'll go out tomorrow. But that's it's only this one video that I'm able to do for this week for Fife. So hopefully you're going to enjoy it. Hopefully it shows you the route itself <laughs> look there's the football stadium or whatever it is football rugby So you are going to see a lot of these HST 75s. Um, HST just means that all the passenger services really go at that speed. The top speed is always freight. Um, so this class is HST, it can go HST speeds. Well, 100 miles an hour is the maximum speed, but 
especially around here, you're not going to be able to go 125 miles an hour in HST. Oh yeah, that's a lovely ice cold water. Got a load of ice in it. So we should be coming up to the coast in a minute, which will be nice to see. Some radio miles. Is the announcement of Kinghorn. We'll soon arrive at Kinghorn. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Oh yeah, look! There's the mobile homes in my video! And one of them was wonky in real life. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, have a look back at my video that I did a few weeks ago on Train Real World. Oh, I did one on Mega Sim as well on this route. So, yeah, take a look at them because uh, you'll be able to have like a comparison of of uh, Real versus Train Real, you know, Train Real World versus Train Sim World. Um, excuse me, mate. What are you doing walking over the track? I'm going to have to DRA that and uh, call that in. Yes, Mr. Sigma, I just found uh, a passenger walking across the track. He has worked out very fully. Um, I've got CCTV of him, so please can you uh, find him. Thank you. Okay, I can set off the DRA. So we do have a window. We have a window both sides. We also have the train lights here. Oh my goodness, I just thought train lighting wasn't on. Well it is now. And there's the cab light. These two lights here. There we go. Okay, Burnt Island is the next stop. <laughs> Burnt Island. It is so weird being on these in real life and then driving them virtually. Not just the comparison, but just like, how cool is that to kind of go, um, oh, I should be, I'm going way too fast here. Oh, bit of bacon needed there. Um, yeah, just being able to go on them in real life and then like seeing them on this, you know, the Azuma, the HSTs, the, the, the 158, the 166, it's, it's great. Oh yeah, I like those rocks there in real life. If I said it, but you know, I do thank um, Dovetail and Rivet for providing us with the free game key to test this out. Um, not just that, you know, we do have the beta testing as well, so we do have some additional, you know, visibility on that sort of thing as well.
turn it up. a little quiet compared to other trains on this um, the volume of it but that is something they are slowly getting right um, I'm gonna say it's a lot better than what it was there were a lot of sound issues and things with it because they had the recordings uh, but it just wasn't coming through correctly <coughs> we'll soon arrive at Burnt Island. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Okay. Coming into this station now. nice that you know we've got the leaven route that could potentially be added um, on here as well which I like the sound of let's open those doors oh he's got a coffee ooh la -di da when he's actually sitting in first class now. Very la -dee da So yeah, we do cover quite a bit, you know, we were up here, go down here, Kakadi, you know, Burnt Island, Kinghorn, you know, down here, over to Edible Waverley. We do have bits of the Glasgow, uh, Glasgow Express. Uh, which is nice to see the 385s let's get going Abadawa is our next stop As well, got to put that in. We also have the fourth bridge on this video as well, so yeah, looking forward to uh, showcasing that on this video today. I will probably do my thumbnail on the fourth bridge as well. Just so you guys know that we will be pausing it and using uh, the photo mode. Mega Big Al, how are you doing? Oh, 
Now, what do you think of the uh, Suffragette line? Mm -hmm. How are you finding the Suffragette line? It's been out a week now, so it's been good, hasn't it? I've enjoyed going on that one. Oh, I'm going way over the speed limit here. Not looking at the speeds at all. Not going to get a platinum, am I? Arrive at Aberdower. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. So yeah, train stations I've got off at was Glenrothes, Markinch, Kakodi, Inverkeithin, Queen, North Queens Ferry, Waverley, and Haymarket. Getty Bay is the next stop. Yeah, the seal plush stays, which is really nice to see. Um, and yeah, you get a little fish with it, so that's really nice. What is your choice of drink today? As I said, mine's a nice iced glass of tea. Tea? Ice glass of... What am I having again? I've forgotten. Water. I was going to say, it's not tea today. Can't do the soft though. It's only high and low, but not soft, high and soft low. Yeah, Dalgetty Bay, which is here, then we've got the Inverkey thing. So this is where you go uh, west towards Dunfermline, etc. and Glenrothes. Or east where you come that way over to Mark Inch. the 
couple and uncouple. I'd like to see more about that. Right, okay, let's start slowing down. We'll soon arrive at Dalgetty Bay. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before... It doesn't feel like it, but it's already been half an hour on this route. Yeah, and it's actually gone really quick. going in the key thing it's our next stop where is it after that Edinburgh Gateway for the airport South Gyle Haymarket Edinburgh Waverley so yeah still got half an hour till we get to our end destination say I didn't see many 400s with the uh the outline they're all painted there were only a couple of 400s I saw other like 300s etc that had the silver bit but this is where I said in previous um videos especially with the real life is We'll soon a lot of these cabs were very, very different. It, even though they were the same model, they were very different. So you've got to be really careful when you're looking at the cab because switches could be in a slight different place and all sorts. It's weird. Because they only modelled one train, and I don't know what one that was. And that's the one where they get all the information from. In the same way as Midland Mainline, you know, the uh, HST that Skyhook Games did for that, there's a bodge job. There's a bodge on the right hand side here on the cab, on the desk, and that's not in any other HST. Well, they probably are, but on the one that they modelled, they put that bodge job in. So, Inverkey thing is a station that I have been to. Do you know what? I'm going to stop early. Because I've been here before. Oh, I'll look at the map later. So we have the steps or the ramp. So we do have the ramp going up here. Going over the top. Um, and you are able to go that way to go the uh, wheelchair friendly route down here this is the uh, station there's the toilet in there see that I know where these toilets are um, and down here where you can go up here that's another way to get out 
Um, and then there was the uh, the weird bracket here that I saw. That was weird seeing that. Um, but yeah, that was in the key thing. Gateway's the next stop. So yeah, Edinburgh Gateway is where the airport is, Edinburgh Airport. means that we're going to fly through and then go on to the fourth bridge without stopping at North Queens Ferry, etc. Feels like that's the same bridge as the uh, McDonald's one at Hanwell South or <laughs> on Great Western Express. Here we go. This is the start. So we've got this bit here. Then we got the station. And then we've got the Bowl Bridge. Look at this. Imagine seeing this being built. All the TNT explosives here to go through that rock. Nice. Slowing down. And here she is. The fourth bridge. Not the fifth, not the third. One thing to feedback is uh, I'd like to hear myself on the fourth bridge because you can't hear yourself on it. It's like <laughs> as you go through, you're not hearing that as you go through on this. It's very quiet. But it does look absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Lovely, lovely bridge. And then what we'll do is we'll do photo mode here. How far out can we go? Oh yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Oh, I don't want to go too far out, but that looks pretty nice. Take a shot there. And take a shot there. There we go. And that should be enough for my thumbnail.
yellow signal. Nice. And I'm going to do one there. See what that looks like. Oh, yeah, look at that. Not long till we get to Edinburgh Gateway. It's quite far, 4.2 miles. I didn't think it was that far to get there. Almost done the fastest bit of the route. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Trying to get up to speed. Okay, an 85. We are going downhill, so that's giving us a bit of uh, oomph on here. We'll soon arrive at Edinburgh Gateway. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn here for the Edinburgh Airport. Let's turn here for Edinburgh Airport. Um, also, what I love is the trams. Trams are here. Just over there. Looks like we got here early. Mine's 
go for a number eight view here. Because I want to go and see. Ah, there's the tram bit. Literally is outside the station like that, okay. Just gotta try and find the trams. Oh there they all are. Nice. Oh that's not been modelled well, has it? <laughs> it's Look at that, it goes down under into the sand pit and they're back out again. Kya, kya. You know what? They try and model these trams and then they. What does it do? When I hit it, yeah. Anyway. Let's see if we can find a map. If you require assistance at any time, you can be in the next station. It's got the moving escalators. be a map at Edinburgh Gateway. What am I missing? What am I missing? There's the poster. So where's the map? There's the plants. Where's the map? Kelly, Cowdenbeath, Dunfermline Queen Margaret, Dunfermline City, Reside, in the key thing, and then there's Dalgetty Bay, Abadour, Burnt Island, Kinghorn, Kakodi, North Queen's Free, Delmeny, Edinburgh Gateway, which is where we are, then we've got South Gyle, Haymarket, and Edinburgh Wavy. Why is Haymarket Depot? I don't know. Why is, it, why is it being shown on the map when we have no trains on it whatsoever going to the Haymarket Depot? Ask, answer me that. Answer me that. It's weird. Why would Haymarket Depot be on the map? It's going in my beta testing. Excuse me. We'll soon arrive at South Gyle. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train.
Right, coming into South Guile now. A bit further, make a sim. A little bit further, further. Get going. Hey, Edinburgh Haymarket coming up now. Our penultimate stop. Yeah, I've um, bugged the uh, one about the station map. Shouldn't have Haymarket Depot on it. Back on the main. is okay coming up to Haymarket Depot now which will go past this is where all the HSTs and the 170s are stored looked after HST usually sits here the uh, stadium. Look at that. 
Fun fact, do you know that there is a Class 43 Loco that sits there that arrived for Scott Rail and has never been used? That's why it looks so clean and so new. Because it's not been touched. We'll soon arrive at Haymarket. Don't forget to take your belongings with you before you leave the train. Okay. Coming into Haymarket. Center. <laughs> ah, there's the ring map. I work here, I'm allowed. So yeah, I'm bugged that. Shouldn't go to Haymarket Depot. Because there isn't a station at Haymarket Depot. Not far till we get... Oh. There we go, let's go down here. Oh, I can't go down there. Oh, never mind. But yeah, our final call is Waverley. So let's have a look. Oh, we go into one of these station platforms. That's where they have the HSTs. So I'm happy. There's no Azumas in at the moment. Uh, we've got some 385, we got two 385s there, coupled together, and a 170. Okay, <clears throat> wait for the signal. Let's get going. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be shortly arriving at Edinburgh Waverley where this train terminates. All trains please, all trains. Thank you. forgot about the uh, speed restrictions coming into Waverley. No, it's not moving, that's good. We are going to need to slow down to 20 in a minute. Well, I 
didn't I think I had to go 20 over those uh, points? I don't know. We're gonna get a do 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 do. We'll be shortly arriving at Edinburgh Waverley where this train terminates. All change, all change. I don't think we're gonna get a, an announcement, are we? Platform 16. Love Platform 16. Those HSTs in there are so good. So, so good. Well, we've come to the end of our trip, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Big thanks to Dovetail for the free game key to showcase this route. As you know, there are going to be some upcoming changes to the route uh, after release, so keep an eye out for them when they come along. But, you know, it is a good route, but I think Rivet do need to take a lot more care in their routes because... Um, Benina line was amazing amazing so it's kind of like a yo-yo like a roller coaster of some sort of thing with Rivet but I think if they get it right when they get it right they are amazing and I'm going to say it you know Rivet are a second and third party route developer second party because they have done some routes for Dovetail Cathcart Circle is a pretty good route. That was Rivet. There are other routes out there as well. I can't remember off the top of my head because I don't want to say anything just in case. But Rivet do have routes that they make for DTG and they are pretty good. But that is because Rivet, uh, DTG are like, get that right, get that right, sort it out, and they do. But I wish they did the same with their own routes. That's the one thing that I'm like a little annoyed with them, is that, come on, you know, you you know how to get it right with other things, so why aren't you doing it with most of your routes? Because some are amazing, some aren't, and it's weird. And I don't know why, why it's like that. Well, anyway, we are at Edinburgh Waverley Station. Rivet, if you are... If you are watching, listening, you know, just just have a think about your previous routes that you've done. You've done some really good ones, but also if you are going to make changes to routes, try and fix them. I know Skyhook are totally different. Skyhook games with mid and mainline. Oh my goodness, the changes they've made to make that route better have increased. They've increased their sales from that route because of what they've done and all the extras that they've done for it. Rivet, could you do something similar? Now oh, there's pret manger WH Smith, stuff like that. Here's the paste, pastry. Pastry? It's the pasty shop. Um, this is where you can go up to then go towards... Uh, this weird bit where you go up all these escalators to get to the top. There's a McDonald's just there, just just in case you know, want to know. Um, this lift here goes um, up to Princess Street. It doesn't go down to the station because I came down here and went, oh, I'm gonna go in here, and I couldn't. I have to. You have to go on this this lift here to get down to platform one. Um, and then you've got <clears throat> the Azumas, so the Azumas and stuff are here, uh, the Pendolinos are, where was I on a Pendolino? I was down here wasn't I? Yeah I was down there. Yeah, ooh, where am I? There. Yeah, these two. That's where I was on the Pendolino, which will be a, an upcoming video um, where I do go on the Pendolino. I will admit it is in July. 
um, because you know I'm doing a lot of videos because I'm all over the country and I enjoy doing these videos but at the same time I don't want to kind of bring them all out at the same time so that's why I that's why I um, do one every Friday so I do have quite a few on the go which are all edited all uploaded ready and raring to go Find the gap between the train and the but hopefully you enjoyed this video showcasing showcasing uh, the new five circle thank you dovetail thank you rivet for providing us with the free game key um, to have a go on this if you are going to get it Tuesday let me know in the comments or if not why not let me know I don't want you to kind of like follow the the crew, you know, follow the common people are just like, oh no, no. Give me some constructive feedback on yes and no. That would be really nice to see. Anyway. I would love to see the HSDs here. That would be nice. Anyway, have a great day everyone. I'm off to Brighton in the morning, so when you watch this, I'll be getting there. Anyway, Thanks, guys. See you on the next video. This is Mega Sim. Oh, yeah, don't forget to watch Train Real World as well. This Friday, LNER, First Class, Kokodi to King's Cross. See you on the next one, guys. Bye.